PowerShell script is executed, there are six different streams where various information could be held. I'm going to show you how to redirect those streams to files or variables so you can work with them later. Let's get started. The PowerShell streams are numbered 1 through 6, and they are called the Output, Error, Warning, Verbose, Debug, and Information streams. And these characters here are the redirect operators. The single greater than symbol is used to write to a file, and the double greater than symbol is used to append to a file. Okay, let's see some examples of stream redirection in action. In this example with get process, you can see it's pretty simple to redirect the output stream to a file. Just specify the command, the redirect operator, and the file name. And a little tip is if you just want to redirect the output stream, you don't even really need to specify the stream number. PowerShell will use the output stream automatically. You can see that in each one of these statements, we're redirecting a different stream. One for the output stream, two for the error stream, and so forth. But pay special attention to these verbose and debug stream redirections. By default, those streams are not displayed, therefore there will be nothing to redirect. To work with these streams, you either need to pass their verbose or debug switches to the command, or set the verbose preference and debug preference variables so the streams are displayed. You can see that when I use the debug switch, PowerShell is prompting me to continue after the right debug statement. If you just want PowerShell to continue without prompting, you can set the debug preference variable to continue. So that's normal redirection. If instead you want to append to a file so previous information isn't lost, you'll need to use the append operator. I won't go over every stream here, but it works just the same as normal redirection. These two examples here show that appending to a file can be useful if the statement is in a loop. If we just use the normal redirect operator, the file will be overwritten every time. And it's also possible to redirect more than one stream at a time. To do that, you chain the redirect operators together with an ampersand. If you want to redirect all the streams, you can use the star symbol. This function here is simply writing messages to each one of the streams so we have something to see. When we run this and check out the test output file, you can see that all the information was captured. I hope this SNP has shown that stream redirection is a pretty simple process and can be quite useful to capture the status of your script to analyze it later.